Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a controversial topic and if you want to just skip down to my list of ideas of things to do with your teen or preteen, um, just go to the number that we'll put on the screen. But if you want to know a little bit why I decided to make this video and what inspired that, then just keep on watching. So clearly I like screens. I am not 100% opposed to them as I'm making a YouTube video. However, I read an article recently that said that on average, kids between ages eight and 12 years old, so that preteen age, they are watching on average four hours and 44 minutes of screens a day. Then I read that teens are watching an average of seven hours and 22 minutes of screens a day, and that's not even including homework or any school-related things that they are doing on screens. That's just downtime on screens. So I came up with this list because I don't know about you, but I don't really want my kids spending that much time on a screen. It doesn't sound very healthy, productive, healthy mentally or physically. And to be honest, like I want to spend time with my kids. I don't want them on screens all day where I'm like, oh, where were you? You were upstairs watching TV for five hours? Like, that's crazy. I want to live my life with them and I want them to be active and doing stuff. So I went to find some ideas. I couldn't find a lot. So I decided to make some on my own and I'm going to share with you those ideas. These are also all my preteen approved. Now I'm not saying that they're going to be your preteen's favorite, but I do think he had a lot of good ideas. I found a lot of things online and I only put the ones in here that he actually enjoys doing or, you know, would enjoy doing with me. Also, I have some different ideas. Some of these are like for him to do on his own. So he's bored, he needs something to go do, or she's bored, she needs something to go do. I have some ideas for you to do with your kids, some ideas for you to do alone, and some ideas for you to do or for your kids to do with their friends because I see a lot of kids nowadays where the only thing they know how to do with their friend is like play on a PlayStation or go play Xbox and they don't really know how to just play. So I made some lists of things that they can do with their friends too. So it's not just, you know, when they're bored and alone. Here's some ideas that they could do off screen together and I'm gonna go through that list right now. Here's a list. The first thing on the list is bake cookies. The next thing on the list is work on a puzzle. Practice photography. I love this idea. I think it could be really fun for your teen or your preteen. Work on learning new language. And I know that this can often be done on a screen, but there's other ways you can do it off screen as well. It's a good way to like bust through the boredom without being on a screen again. Playing a board game, oh my goodness, playing board games are so much fun, especially when you do it with your kids and you can really help them learn how to be strategic and um, just interaction of a different sort than just, I don't know, reading a book, which we love, but I love the idea of playing board games. Memorizing, memorizing is so good for your brain, so I really encourage my kids to memorize, especially if they're bored and they don't know what to do. Pack a picnic and then go outside and eat it somewhere, which I think is so fun make puppets. My 11 year old doesn't do this as much, but my daughter really loves to make puppets. Train a dog. This is such a good idea. You can do it with lots of different pets, but we have a dog, so I let my son work with him. Exercise. I know that's pretty generic, but you can go practice running relay races. Just go do something outside, like rollerblading, skating, anything like that. Riding bikes. Make a cake look through a cookbook and then pick out things to go shop. So I love doing this. I've had my son do this. He enjoys it as well because he gets excited to make something that he actually wants to make. So that's a really good idea. Playing with marbles. There are games that you can play by yourself or with friends. My son prefers to play with friends. He is a very social person. So he does play with friends, but there's also really cool marble activities that you can do just by yourself. Water the flowers or read the flower bed. We don't have a garden right now, but planning to later this year. So right now it's just watering indoor plants, but if you have a lot of those, that can still be something to do with your time. Drawing a self-portrait. Um, my son is not much of an artist right now, but he had so much fun drawing a self-portrait with him and his friend. They were laughing hysterically about it for months, so 
that's a really fun thing to do. And especially if you have your friend do it with you and maybe you draw him and he draws you, that can be a really fun idea. Create a treasure hunt. I like this idea because it's definitely a little bit more time consuming. It could take them a, a while to come up with all the different ideas and then kind of come up with fun clues. But he's making me a treasure hunt so that I can go and find said treasure. Uh, writing in his journal now, my 11 year old has not been a huge fan of journaling, but he's actually gotten a lot more into it lately. So he does do that and I do think it's a really good thing to do. Like when he's bored, he can go and write in his journal or write to a friend. Work on a short story or a novel. Uh, we definitely do this, especially during the summer months when we're not spending a lot of time doing school and we want to have something else to do. This is a great idea. Interview a parent or a sibling. <laughs> We've definitely done interviews before. We've done interviews. Um, where we pretend we're somebody else or he pretends he's somebody else uh, like a reporter interviewing a knight from you know the 16th century and it was a lot of fun and we got a lot of kicks and giggles out of it it was really entertaining so that's a really fun one you could pretend to be anyone and do an interview another one is making ice cream together I think this is fun and what kid is going to be like no mm, I don't really feel like making ice cream right now so that's a really good summer boredom um, way, way to entertain him, you know, do something like that. The next one is learning how to sew. Now, I know that not all kids know how to sew these days, and I mean, my son wasn't super interested until I told him some of his other friends that could sew, and he thought it did sound fun to learn. I think he likes the idea of knowing how to, not necessarily learning. Um, but my husband is really good at sewing so he's able to teach him and that's a really fun thing that they can do together. Make a duct tape wallet. I remember when duct tape wallets were the thing. I don't remember how many years ago, probably 20 years ago, but my brothers are making them and all their friends are making them so I told my son about it and he was like, oh that sounds cool. So he's gonna make a duct tape wallet. Play hangman. So I like hangman and I think it's a really fun activity that you can do with your kid. It's a good way to teach spelling in a fun way that they won't even really know that they're learning. Playing with Legos, I know that seems super basic, but I have found that if you play with Legos with your kids too, um, this will help them to want to do it on their own. My husband will play with my kids and their Legos for like 30 minutes, and then the kids will continue playing with them for like three hours. So that's a really good idea um, to build something big and cool as a preteen with your Legos. Do a science experiment. Oh my gosh, there's a million science experiments. And there's so many that you can do just with stuff in your house, like just from, you know, whatever's in your kitchen. So look up some like super basic science experiment ideas and have your kids try some stuff out if they're bored and they want to like just do something else. That's a really good idea as well. And then lastly I have is playing catch. And I love playing catch. You know, I know it's not everybody's favorite, but just getting out there and throwing a ball or kicking a ball or playing volleyball, any of those activities, such a good thing to do with your kid or he could do with a friend as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this list. Next week, I'm gonna be putting out a video all about the best books for preteens. And this is gonna be definitely like the books that my son has enjoyed the most. So if you want some good ideas on fun books to read, he loves to read and he's gone through quite a lot. So I'll be getting all of my advice from him on which books were his absolute favorite. And then, you know, obviously my own as well that I've read to him that we enjoyed. So keep an eye out for that next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you want any more tips on homeschooling and spending time with your kids, tips and tricks for homeschooling this year. 